Hi, this is Tommy from ActiveContext.net. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future posts. Today I'm going to talk to you about a movie called Hellgate. I saw this a few years back, but I couldn't remember so much from it, so I rewatched re it the other day. And um, on the cover here it says, From the special effects masters behind Hellraiser and Hellbound. Two movies I really like. Comes terror taken one step further. Well, I don't think that's entirely true because I don't think this is one step further from Hellraiser and Hellbound. I actually prefer Hellbound before Hellraiser. But that's another story. Um, this movie is from 1996. It doesn't really show. I When I watched it, I thought it was kind of at least late late uh, 80s because it has that that feel to it that that you um, if you've seen some of these movies uh, from back in the day you, you know kind of what feel they have and i thought that the the feel of this movie was not the mid 90s but the late 80s that was not necessarily a bad thing in any way I thought they, that the acting was pretty nice, more or less all through. The story itself was kind of far-fetched most of the time. Despite the movie's name, Hellgate, this is not about a descent into hell, the fiery depths or whatever, which would have been very nice, but it's, it's really not. It's more about this ghost town called Hellgate in the movie. Uh, there was an incident, a supernatural incident, almost science fiction-ish incident happened there uh, I think about a hundred years ago or something like that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, where um, someone find this object that could uh, reanimate dead flesh but also uh, actually more or less kill and before that there was this girl abducted more or less from a um, diner from with a motorcycle gang uh, he, she was abducted by them and I think that that she was kind of killed so I guess this father to her resurrected her and uh, now she kind of haunts the place along with the other townspeople for that matter because we see this group of, of four youngsters more or less three of them are there already in the neighborhood not in the exact ghost town but in the neighborhood and the fourth is on the way there and he can't find the way so he accidentally roams through this ghost town and come across this woman uh, he actually almost hits her with a car and he takes her home and she seduces him or tries to seduce him anyway and uh, one thing leads to another and he, he gets away and when he reached the other ones he learns of the legend because there is a legend of this Hellgate town and he learns about that and he needs to go back to check if this was really happening to him or not. And um, as we know, it was really happening to him. Uh, it's fairly obvious, it's not a spoiler. So he goes back, they all got back and they kind of awakes this old ghost town with all the mysterious things that ha has been going on there throughout the years since the incident. I think that the acting is pretty nice all the way through. I think there might be a little too much humor in it. Uh, there's... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm a fa big fan of, of uh, one-liners. And there is a fair share of one-liners at some parts of the film. I think that those particular one-liners is really, really good. I think those are 
character building, more to speak, because none of these young people, those four young people, takes this very seriously. Maybe the one that was there before, but not the other ones. They don't take it too seriously. But they should, because soon they experience the, the wrath of the town, so to speak. And um, there will be violence and there will be blood. I think that, that the effects of this movie is pretty nice. I think that, that uh, they are not really done too seriously at times. I think that th there is a self-distance to this film, to the effects at least. I think that there are scenes in it which only which is only there to to show off certain parts of female anatomy. Uh, I don't mind, but I don't think those scenes are really necessary for the plot. But all in all, I think this is a pretty nice movie. I uh, enjoyed watching it for sure. I think it's kind of worth, on a rating scale, 7 out of 10. So, if you like this clip, please like and subscribe down below. If you've seen the movie, comment. And if you have any other thoughts, please let me know. And uh, have a nice day.